where have you gone? Because you said you've gone to court to, uh, to stop that injunction or to court order suspending the exercise. Have you been able to... to, to are, are you successful in that? Because the courts are going to go on break. Yes, we are aware. We are aware of all the parameters. But what we have done is that we have filed this motion and we are going to ask for accelerated hearing of the motion because of its urgency. This is a process which no court can stop. You cannot stop a clock for a constitutional timeline. The constitution has given us 90 days to conduct this exercise. From the first day we gave the notice, the clock starts ticking. It's like talking about the end of time or end of tenure, and the court wants to stop it. Definitely, that's a constitutional. If you look at the calendar of that, you the timetable that you released on this recall, you will discover that when the case will be heard substantively, that calendar, that timetable for the 90 days window that has been provided by law, will probably will have been frustrated. Will have been extinguished. How it will have been extinguished because the old thing would have gone beyond the constitutional timeline of 90 days, which is the prescription of the court which is the prediction of the Constitution. What we have here now is a court order versus the constitutional position. Is it That's exactly is, is, what is, we are is trying to do. Is the commission to... working internally? Uh, you, are you carrying, your, carrying on the work of, in this exercise, or you stopped uh, totally based on the court order? The order says we should maintain status quo. We stopped exactly... We obeyed the court order and stopped at a part. Don't forget that the recall is a chain reaction. We have issued notice, and of course, we have pasted the notice. At that point, the court order, the court order came in and said, stop. We stopped at that point. Until we vacate that particular injunction or that particular order, we cannot move forward. Or else we'll be disobeying the... the but the, wouldn't that the, affect the process? Because INEC needs to make its own preparations. When you say you have stopped... And the law also foresee that you needed to prepare yourself ahead of the, for, for example, the verification exercise. Wouldn't that disturb that exercise? Obviously, it's going to disturb it. But there's nothing. We are being our hands are tied by the by the judgment. That's why we are trying to make sure that at least for once and once and for all, we have a judicial pronouncement on such issues, not just recall alone, constitutionally. We, these are constitutional responsibilities. For instance, we are aware that the, we have basis for not, we have, no court can stop an election. Our question is, can somebody stop a recall, a, a, any other electoral process? That's why we are going to court to try to put it aside. Once we have a constitutional timeline for a particular exercise, we want to believe, that's our layman's belief, that the Constitution should take precedence over a court order. That's why we are trying to put it aside, and that is our argument in this case. We have a, a constitutional responsibility to carry out what we are asking is that the judicial process or system should allow us to carry it out. That's all we're asking for in the court. Do you have money to carry out the, the recall process? Well, I'm sure when we come to that particular bridge, we'll cross it. Because so Anik nobody, does, nobody, Anik does not nobody know whether budgeted he has for money it. or not for recall. We have not budgeted for it, but we have a way of looking for money for such. How things. do you look for it? Uh, definitely, we have to go back to government. Because nobody budgets for the unforeseen, something like a recall. Because a lot of people say there's politics in all of this. If you are going to get some more money by, by environment or, or what have you, you still need to go to the National Assembly. The government, that you, you, you are in a first line charge, yes. what you get. But as it's, it still stands that you need to go back to the parliament. And this man that you're going to prepare his recall is a member of parliament. I'm sure it will not come to that. We'll go straight to the presidency and tell them. This, you recall that there was a time when we had the, about 90 different elections. We didn't, have, we didn't have funds for it. The government found a way of finding funds for us. Three mil, three on, uh, you said about 300 million naira for, for the, 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 the each of the stages. The verification will cost about 300 million naira, isn't it? The verification will cost about 300 naira. 300 million naira. The referendum will cost about 300 naira. If it's a successful recall, I'm telling you, even the election to fill that vacancy will still cost about 300 million naira. We are looking at about 900 million naira now because each senatorial 
Oh, election costs us about 300 million naira. And this is akin to a senatorial election with the full complements of personnel and, of course, oh, materials too. I, have you gotten any petition to recall any other senator? None so far. Officially, we have not got any. But as it stands now, have we seen any successful recall so far in the history of INEC? Well, so far, we have not had the history, we, or we have not had a successful one so far. But we cannot be given an answer before an exam is taken. We really have to go into the exercise to know whether it's going to be successful or not. That is why we are trying to remove every encumbrance towards this constitutional duty. All right. Mr. Solomon Shoyebi is the National Commissioner with INEC. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you very much. We do we'll bring you at some point again to clarify as uh, the case develops. But when we'll, we'll take a break, but when we come back, the question will be asked on the restructuring and the amendment of the Constitution. Do we need to amend the Constitution or overhaul it? Find out after now.